Hi, I'm Ralph Bass from Lumber and Honda of Auburn in Massachusetts, and I'm going to do the walk around on the all new 2016 Honda Civic Touring today. So, this car is Honda Sensing with safety driver assist features, Honda Satellite Link Navigation System with voice recognition, and Honda High Depth Digital Traffic. Now, this car has LED turns indicators, headlights, and side mirrors. Um, also, this car comes with rain sensors on the windshield washers, on the windshield wipers. LED headlights, low and high beam with auto on and off. A couple of things with the smart key technology on these things is the unlock button. The first thing you do is hit the unlock and then hit it and hold it. And it actually drops all the windows and opens the sunroof, you know, for those hot days to let all the heat out of the car. Now to put them back up, like you get to the car, you're like, oh, I forgot something, I'll be right back. You can put the, take the key out of the hidden key out of the, out of the remote, put it in here, turn it once and turn it again and hold it, and it puts all the windows back up. So you can literally put the windows down and put them back up without even getting in the car. The key comes with a uh, remote start built in from the factory. So you hit the lock button and then push and hold the circle button until it gets a signal, you'll see the lights flash and the car will start. To shut it back off, you just push and hold the uh, circle button and it'll shut back off. Now, also with the smart key, you just leave it in your pocket. When you get out of the car, you push and lock this, this button right here and it locks the car all up and nobody can get in the car. But the car senses that I have the key on me and it's easy access, you just touch the door handle and the car unlocks and gives you easy access to the, to the car. Now, while the car is unlocked, the gas tank over here, you just push it like this and it opens and it has a capless entry. So no more cap, looking for the cap, putting it over here. None of that, it's capless now. And then when you lock the car up, it will not open. And another good feature, walking around to the back of the car, you know it's the, um, the seats for the Civics are facing each other, so it's a beautiful touch by Honda, and also the uh, lift, because this one is the Touring and it has the turbo engine, so that will it, be iconic for the turbo. Now, also, if you get into the trunk, you just put your hand here and touch it, and it opens up without taking the key out of your pocket. And one of the good things I like about the uh, trunk here is you notice the low entry, so if you're putting stuff in here, you're not bending down, you can just slide it right in. Um, Moving around to the uh, passenger side of the car, you notice the beautiful alloy wheels of polished aluminum alloy with black uh, inserts that really accentuate the, uh, the wheel of the car. Over, moving over here, you'll notice one thing different that Honda does that some other manufacturers do not do is they put a, uh, a, a camera here. So from the passengers, from the driver's seat, when you put your blinker on, you can actually see everything that's going on over here in case a bicycle is coming up and you're going to take a right hand turn for safety reasons. It's one of the best features I've seen on any car today. One of the most beautiful things I find about the uh, Touring Edition is these LED headlights, blinkers. These are something you would see on high end cars such as the um, Acura. $40,000 cars had these type of headlights. And as you remember seeing the uh, window sticker, this is only 27. So it's a lot of uh, high line things that you would find in, in much more expensive cars. So it has the push button to start, part of the smart, smart key technology. And you notice the video of the uh, dash. And there's a lot of different things you can do in here. Um, you can change the uh, your maintenance, your music, your phone and the miles per hour and the gallons and stuff that's what i usually leave mine on okay this one being the touring actually has the uh navigation which is a really good voice activated navigation system making everything safe and easy for you to drive and um we're gonna take it for a light a nice little test drive now One thing I do like about these cars, they make it very easy for the climate. You just hit this button right here for the climate, and it brings it up. You can turn the AC on and set the fan and, and such really easy with one touch. And then you can 
just hit the button and go back to your navigation map. Or the home button here and set your audio, which is pretty easy to do. Turn the power button. And then you can uh, adjust the volume here or even on the steering wheel, which is really nice. Okay, we're all buckled up. We're ready to go for a test drive. Now this car has Honda Sensing, which is the crash mitigation, the lane keep assist, road departure, and adaptive cruise control. So we're actually gonna demonstrate the um, Honda Sensing on our highway road here. I'm going to turn the volume down because I want you to hear the uh, rumble of the exhaust on this turbo when I when I take off out of here. It really has an amazing sound. Can you hear the rumble of that exhaust? One of the nice features about the uh, Touring is you notice it has uh, sat satellite radio and it gives you the uh, album cover picture and stuff I like that. So I set the adaptive cruise control and um, when they, when we get on the highway, I'm actually gonna set it. So what it would do is actually mirror the, the car speed in front of me. And if he slows down, I'll slow down. If he speeds up, I'll speed up and I'll stay uh, two car lengths behind him. You can set it to set one, two or three car lengths behind. And um, yeah, they, uh, you don't need the gas pedal. The crash mitigation is on, so I don't need the uh, brake pedal. And uh, once the uh, camera that's up here gets a good vision of the lines in the road, over here, I don't know if you can see that, the, the uh, two lines with the ACC and the LKS, that will, um, the lane keep assist, those two lines will turn solid when the camera gets a good vision of the, of the road. And you'll actually see it, uh, uh, use it to, turn, to keep me in my lane so I don't, uh, if I'm daydreaming it, it'll uh, pull me back into the line, not let me get out of the line. It's a really good feature. All right, so the lane keep assist now has a good vision of the uh, lines in the road. So we're gonna go around a bend here and I'm just gonna let you watch the steering wheel here. Kind of just take uh, control of the car and go ar right around the corner. You'll see the steering wheel moving as, the, uh, as we go around the bend here. And it's actually keeping me in my lane um, on its own. Really good, real good feature. And it also will prompt you if you're not holding on to the steering wheel. It's just for a safety feature, just in case. But you do have to um, keep your hands on the uh, close to the wheel so it can feel some kind of um, pressure there. So as it goes around this S corner, you'll see that. Isn't that isn't that cool? That's got that's got to be the coolest thing. actually using no feet right now we're going around the corner here notice the steering wheel is turning us around the corner I'm using no feet right now and the um, crash mitigation is on so if a deer jumped out or a car pulled out in front of us it would actually um, it would actually just um, stop the car for us so, there's a lot of good safety features here for distracted drivers um, daydreamers it does and they're the leader in this is the Highway Safety Institute now instituted a new crash test, which is the offset crash test. Honda is actually the first one. They came up with the ACE body structure, which actually um, it, it, it bears the a customer a, a crash off to the side uh, for the uh, driver here will be completely um, protected in an in in offset crash mitigation. So Honda is one of the leaders with that ACE body structure. Very good feature. So it does have the right view camera, which is one of my favorite features. Um, also, let's say you're on an eight lane highway 
and you don't know when you're going to get into that right lane you can always push the button on the end of the blinker stock and it actually turns that light on that camera so you can actually monitor um, the right lane uh, constantly without even putting your blinker on so that's a, that's a really good safety feature as well so we're going down a really rough road here in uh, Auburn Massachusetts this this road here I like to demonstrate the suspension on these cars with the dough flow dampeners on the on the struts and um, how how this car reacts on a windy, bumpy road, which is um, it's, it's, no other car can compare to this for a subcompact. give any body lean just going around these uh, corners the car stays very stable and sure-footed on the road one thing I like about what Honda did with this steering wheel when you're gripping the road on some of these tight turners is they put this indentation here for you to put your thumb in it's very comfortable on a drive using the um, 9-3 Headed back here to the dealership. I just want to go over a couple things when we get back and park and show you a couple more things here about the interior of this car. One thing I do like here is it's a home button. You hit it very easy and it brings you back to the screen. There's so many little customized settings you can do. You can arrange these icons differently, um, change the background color, even the even the skin, the background skin. Um, but I do want to show you like the, the turbo, the, this one has the heated seats. So there's three different uh, settings, high, low, medium, and off. Also, it has a brake hold here, so if you're on a steep hill at a red light, the, the car will actually hold you on the hill and give you any time to put your foot onto the brake, uh, onto the gas pedal to take off. You won't roll back into traffic. Also, one of the greatest features on this, and you only see the, these typically on the high-end cars, is this electronic parking brake. To set it, you just um, pull it up, and then you'll see the brake light come on over here in the corner. Can you see that break? Yeah, there you go. And then to release it, once you set the parking brake to release it, you just put your foot on the brake and then you pull you pull this up and put it down and you'll see the light go off and now the parking brake's on. So no more lever here, no foot thing here. It's just so much easier to use the electronic parking brake once you get uh, used to using it. You'll probably never want to use anything else. Also, it has the Econ button. If you engage this, you'll see the Econ light light up on the dashboard. What that's actually going to do, it governs the first gear down, so you'll take off a little slower and a little smoother, but that's what um, uses most of the gas is getting the car up to speed, so you'll take off a little slower and a little smoother. Um, I leave mine on all the time. I basically only t turn it off when um, you know I'm going to merge onto a, a busy highway and I need that extra get up and go real quick. Um, on the steering wheel here, there's a lot going on. This is your main cruise. When you turn the main, the adaptive cruise control turns on and the lane keep assist. And then when you, there's a button over here when you can turn this on, you'll see, actually see the lane when the camera gets the uh, lanes in, the, in there. And then there's another button here that you can push. And it, you can, if you can see this, um, you'll see the, how that is and you can actually judge it by how many how many car lengths you want to stay behind the car in front of you which is a really really neat feature and all these features are very um, good for safety and uh, you know you can uh, you can't put a price on safety today um, the steering wheel controls here for the stereo basically you don't even have to push this button you just run your finger see that I found that out because I thought I had to push the button and I didn't and I was turning my music up without realizing it. 
Um, also, all your cell phone controls are right here um, to answer the phone, to hang up the phone, and to call somebody. It, it's right here, easy access. You don't even have to take, never take your eyes off the road. So the safety features are um, really good here. Now I want to show you over here the um, crash mitigation button. This is usually on all the time, but I always push it and hold it and make sure that it's on. I turn it turn it off and now I turned it back on so I always make sure that's on before I, I start leaving and that should be on all the time um, down here there's a um, there's a, a button for your it's, you see a picture of a cell phone this is where your your uh, port is for your um, USB and there's a picture of a cell phone where you can actually use Android Auto or Apple CarPlay and it'll actually mirror your uh, icons up on the screen there which is a really neat feature um, again a lot of the high-end cars have that uh, the cool the cool thing about this is um, if you're not using both cup holders you can slide this forward and it locks in place and you use it for a, a really comfortable armrest um, one touch for the sunroof and one touch close now if you didn't want it to close all the way you just have to tap it again and it stops wherever you want it to which is a really neat feature so that's uh, that's about it for our uh, test drive today I uh, hope you uh, enjoyed it and uh, maybe you, you got some good stuff out of it and we look forward to seeing you here at the Lundgren Honda Jason, the Honda Pro, now you are also in the know.